Hello everyone, it's Mel again. I have another couple of projects to share with you. Um, this is for one of my YouTube friends, Susan, and I'll put Susan's YouTube name in the description below. Um, Susan is celebrating a special birthday um, in a couple of weeks, so I thought what I'd do is make her a couple of presents, and then I'd make my video, and then once I know she's received it, um, obviously then I can upload it. I don't want to spoil the surprise for her. So what I've actually done is I've made Susan a plaque for her craft room and it's um, I follow exactly the same procedures I have done on all my previous plaques. So it's a wooden plaque painted with white acrylic paint. It is a vintage style napkin stuck down using the 50% PVA and water. And then round the edge here we've got this beautiful cream ruffle trim on top of that the flat back pearls and then the flowers are wild orchid craft flowers same as the previous plaque I've made with the exception is I've got some sweetheart blossom flowers here and then I've put Susan's name I found some um, chipboard letters that I had unfortunately I had the right number and the right letters to spell her name so I'm really hoping that she's going to like that and she can have that in her craft room so that was the first thing I made for her now the second thing, I'm not sure how well this is going to stand up. Let's have a go. I'll probably have to hold it actually, which isn't ideal. Right, the next thing I've made for Susan is, this is um, a tag book, but this will actually be, this is actually her birthday card that I've made. And I got the instructions from for this out of a Norwegian um, craft magazine that my lovely friend May Britt sent to me. It's full of vintage style projects and I absolutely love it and I was itching to have a go. So I thought I'd have make this tag book for Susan for her birthday. So if I quickly explain the front and then I'll go through the rest of it. So we've got some cardboard and the paper collection I've used is by Peon Design. Really, really pretty. I absolutely love it. And then the image is also by... Actually, I'm thinking Peon Design, but I don't think it is. It's by another, I think it's a Swedish company. I've had them for a couple of years. I think the first time I went to Norway, I bought a sheet of those. And then um, I've got a couple of layers, and then I've taken some vintage lace. And then I've obviously mounted my vintage image on some pop dots to give a bit of dimension. And then down here, we've got a cluster of flowers. We've got um, a couple of the lilies, we've got a rose which I've just um, used one of the Tim Holtz Distress inks on the top I can't remember which colour I've used, one of the brown ones and then down here we've got a couple of the crochet flowers also from Wild Orchid Crafts I've made a stick pin um, these wings were part of a fabulous rack from my friend Carol so thank you Carol, love those I must get some more because I'm getting through them pretty fast and then up here we've just got a little bow which is also by Wild Orchid Crafts and then what you do is you open it up and in fact if I change the camera angle I can probably explain it a little bit better so what we've got is four tags this is really, really easy to make. Good fun. Um, so each each tag has a saying on it. So this one I've put, follow your heart, it knows the way. And then, um, then again, all the papers are from the PM design. And then this dove and this vintage stamp here are by Kaiser Crafts. Um, I can't remember the paper collection. But it's from the Kaiser Craft. And then this particular tag says, let your light shine through. And then um, what I did was I used a Martha Stewart doily punch. I don't know where that's showing up. There. Let's go. A Martha Stewart doily punch on here to make my pocket. Um, this one I did at a, an angle, a corner. And then we've got obviously this beautiful stamp. I mean the papers just match perfectly. And then I've got a little um, bow here. And then on this side we've got another tag. And this one says tomorrow holds many wonderful things. 
and then I've got another saying here live in the moment and make it so beautiful that it will be worth remembering and that's a Tim Holt saying down here I've got this really pretty trim which then again Carol sent me part of her fabulous mini album swap and rack and I love it I absolutely love it and she said um, it's one of her favourites and she was struggling to get some more so I'm going to have to see whether I can source it elsewhere because I absolutely love it um, I showed you that tag and then over here I've got a stamp which says happy birthday and I've written Susan's name it says wishing you a day full of surprises great friends and the best cake ever and many more and you, then you write on the birthday tag and then we've got another saying here you're never more than a thought away so and that stamp is by Cat's Eyes Press I think it's called and then again I've had it quite a little while but it is a really useful stamp to have so that's the front the back um, is fairly plain um, obviously that's the back cover and that's the back cover so we've got my stamp and there's my little message to Susan that one's plain so that's it really that is my birthday gift tag book for Susan for a special birthday so I really hope she likes my projects I'm sure she will and thank you for watching and please leave me a comment bye